Hey, Ben Baxter here with Anglers All. Today we're going to tie up the She Demon for you. So I'm starting with a uh, six aught. This is a uni thread in the wine color. We've got a wide gap streamer hook here with the straight eye. And two beads that are both uh, 5 30 seconds or 3 8 One's black nickel, one's blood red. First unique part about this fly is we're gonna leave a little gap here, maybe just shy of the eye of the hook. Not quite the length of a bead. And then I'm just gonna hit that as Mr. Keller does with little bit of glue which never hurts. Solid flies or good flies that'll last you a lot longer. Next is Antron yarn and this is fluorescent fire orange that I'm using here. I use just different material but it is no longer available, so tie that in there, and I'm going to double that over to the back. I don't want to go any farther than the end of the straight part of the shank here. I don't want to start going down around the back of the bend and the hook there. And you'll see why here in a moment. I'm going to trim that a little longer than the shank, other than the bend of the hook there. A little egg sack or hot spot, if you will. Next, I'm using fine barred marabou. Get my fingers wet and kind of tame that beast a little bit there. So I'm going to do about one and a half. The length of the shank there. It's a pretty good, good length on the tail. And as I'm wrapping this in, I'm kind of holding it, kind of keep it apart from that little hot spot. They'll end up together here in a moment, but. Trim off that excess marabou. Clean that up a smidge. Oop. Get to the back here. There's another unique part to this fly. It actually parachutes around the marabou and what I'm using is that antron for that hot spot. First couple wraps you want to make pretty loose just like any parachute and the next couple you can kind of tighten that up. I just turn that in the vise because it's a little easier for me to to do parachutes that way. Give it a little more glue back there. Secure that in there. Okay, next we're going to use some fish flash or Crelex, as some people know it as. We're using six different strands of this all together. I got three smoke, there's 
three copper and then three of the rainbow, or two of the rainbow, sorry, two of each of them, not three. So six all together. Self. Just try and keep that on top of the shank there. Next is some small wire here that I'm going to tie in. I guess you could tie the wire in before the flash if you wanted, but I don't think it really makes a huge difference. As long as you tie it in before you wrap the flash, you're good. So we're taking this fish flash and just wrapping it forward. Pretty tight wraps, you don't want it loose. A couple securing wraps with our thread. And when I tie this in, I want it right off the top of this bead right here because we're going to kind of use it for part of the wing here in a moment too. So I found to kind of help me do that is to tie a couple in the front of that flash and then tie it forward again and pin it down. taking our wire and we're counter wrapping against that fish flash just really makes this that much more solid of a fly get that wire secured in there back here the same same length as the marabou there next I'm going to tie in it's a barred saddle hackle this is in the gray black Taking my tip and kind of straightening out those fibers there. And then I'm going to snip half of that tip off to tie in, just makes it a little cleaner when you're tying everything in there. flash and then we're gonna come forward and do one, two wraps in front of it There. 
couple turn whip finish there. Trim that out. That's our thread. I'm gonna trim these a little longer than the shank of the hook here. You don't want it as long as that tail. A little shorter, and we're gonna put these this flash that I just trimmed off, we're gonna set that off to the side. Don't throw that away yet. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with a little bit more glue. Now we're going to start our thread in between those two beads. Really getting that, that gap between those two beads the right distance is pretty important on this fly. Otherwise you're going to be trying to fill in a lot of that gap with thread wraps or something else. So. Another barge saddle hackle here, trimming off my tip. Tie that in. We're going to do five wraps of that. Last but not least, we're using a sparkle minnow brush. I'm just making sure I have a little bit of wire here. So I'm pulling some of the hollow silver flash off of the tip there so I've got something to tie it in with and I'm not bulking up too much of that flash in there in one spot. I've got that wire back here so I'm just kind of pushing it back to get it out of the way so I'm not breaking my thread. Get that secured in there and we're going to do two wraps of this and you want to make sure with this that you pull back as you're wrapping that you're really palmering that otherwise it's really going to clump up on you pretty easy. Get two wraps of that in. What I'm doing is I'm grabbing vise and hook and pulling. I don't know if you saw it twist just a smidge there, but it really helps tighten that wire in this brush around the hook for you. Now I'm using scissors that are not my good scissors to trim that out. And again, I've got a little bit of wire sticking out right there, so I'm just going to push that back. If you want, now's a good time to brush this. If you feel the need, you don't have to, but as you can see, there's some little extra loose pieces in there, probably from me trimming brush and last but not least we're going to take the rest of that fish flash that we had those six strands we're going to 
laying a wing over the top. Two, three, and then fold that back on itself. And then same thing we did with the last, right about a little past the length of the hook there. And we'll do a whip finish here. synthetics like this that you use glue as often as you can just because of the slippery nature of synthetics they tend to pull out it's not as necessary with a brush like that but still still helps your fly be a little more bomb proof well, there she is that's the she demon the Chris Keller fly from MFC um, check us out thanks for watching like, subscribe, look us up on Facebook. We have a, a fly tying group there as well. Uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Ben Baxter here with Angler's All. Till next time.